In this tutorial, I'll show you how quickly this photorealistic scene was created in Blender. One of the most important aspects of achieving the photorealism is by using the correct lighting setup and high resolution PBR texture images. I'll post a download link for the mesh, HDRI, and PBR images in the description below. I'm using an imported mesh with 4K PBR texture, and that alone will be sufficient enough to achieve the photorealism with basic lights. I'm using a blend file that was included in the download package, but we can always copy the mesh and paste it to a new document. We can select the mesh like this. Press Ctrl C to copy, create a new document, and press Ctrl V to paste. But that's only required when we want to use our own fresh blend file or saved file to create a new scene with. In the description below, there's a video tutorial on how to set up the default scene to match my settings. Please remember to match the settings as mine, if you want to have the same render result as mine seen in my tutorials. In this example, I'm using a blend file that was included in the zip file. I have only added a plane, and applied the PBR texture images, as usual, by using an add-on called Node Wrangler. I have used the Cycles Render Engine with 128 samples. I believe these are the default light path settings. Unlike my usual renders, this one's filmic setting is not set to high contrast, but it achieved the photorealism without any issues. I have used an easy HDRI add-on to quickly add and rotate a background HDRI image. I'll post a tutorial link in the description below. One more thing I have done was scaling the PBR images for the ground floor like this, because the default images are too big. I'll post a link where we can download HDRI images. Please use them with Easy HDRI to quickly set up the best looking render scenes. So how quickly can we create this photorealistic render image with Blender? Importing a 4K textured mesh, creating a plane with PBR images, and using an Easy HDRI assisted HDRI will take far less than 3 minutes. And that's how powerful Blender really is. Tomorrow, I'll show you how I have rendered this image with my settings with high contrast filmic with amplified light paths and more. This is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching.